The Sims 4 is getting a base game update today, and I really do not think it's gonna be a big update. I'm not expecting any actual new content or anything, I think it's just gonna be a couple of bug fixes. And yet, somehow, this is like the most excited I've been for an update like this in a long time. At least for a small update like this one, because there have been some unbearable bugs in this game recently. Specifically, the thing about holidays not working with seasons. There's been this issue recently where only like three Sims in a household would get the holiday pop-up. So for example, you want to celebrate Winterfest, but like half the household doesn't even see the holiday there, so you can't do any of the holiday things. And I know it's just a holiday, but like I love playing legacy stuff, I love playing the holidays in my game, and I just, I haven't been able to do it for weeks. For weeks it's been broken, and that's just one of those bugs that they've talked about fixing in today's patch. So let me just catch you up to speed real quick about how we know there's gonna be an update today. There's a new stuff pack coming out on Thursday, and every time there is a new Sims pack, there is always an update right before. And they've had this same release schedule for like 10 years now, where a pack will come out on Thursday, and there will be an update on the Tuesday right before. And they'll never confirm this, but it also always comes out at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I don't think they want to say that, because like, what if it has to change? But for the past 10 years, it has always been on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. And it's Tuesday at 1 p.m., and there is an update available. So I'm gonna download this right now. This is also just to prepare for the pack that's coming out. They've gotta like get the game up to date and fixed and ready for the new content that's coming in a couple of days. But considering the fact that we just got an SDX drop with some new content like two weeks ago, I don't really expect to have new free stuff today, mostly just bug stuff. Also, when there's big patches like this, it will automatically disable your mods. That's because oftentimes script mods will break when there's patches like this. So things like UI cheats, MC command center, maybe like the more columns mod for cast, any of those bigger script mods that you have, you're gonna have to delete them and then re-download them after the creator updates it. Most of those creators are pretty quick with the updates, but just keep checking their pages until the update comes out. Your CC will probably be fine, so if you have like a custom content hair, that's no issue, it's just the script mods that are a bigger deal. And like 99% of the time a thing breaks and people come to me and they're like, Kayla, oh my god, my whole game's broken, it doesn't work, and then I'm like, uh, did you take out UI cheats? And they didn't. <laughs> it's always UI cheats. Not just UI cheats, cheats causes problems, but it's a very common mod, and because it messes with the UI, it, it tends to cause issues when it breaks. Um, I just loaded into this save, and the first thing I'm noticing is this brand new glaringly obvious shopping cart button up here. They added a new packs you may like shopping cart in game. They're trying to sell us stuff in game, and they put it next to the gallery button. Oh my god. I Look, I know they're trying to make money off of us. But like, are the ads on the main menu not enough? The whole game is an ad. <laughs> They're just, it's everywhere. Okay, I don't know what that looks like if you don't have all the packs. It tells me that I've seen it all because I own all the packs, but that's annoying. Wow, okay, so <laughs> they're trying to sell us stuff. It says packs you may like, so I wonder if it tries to tailor it to you based on like what you have. Like, is it targeted advertisement or are they just trying to sell you whatever? I'm kind of curious to know, but I can't, I can't check. I almost don't even want to know, but I'm curious to see how it looks in game as well, because from Manage Worlds there's just two buttons up there, but when you're in game you can see the Manage Worlds button, you can see the Build Mode button, and now you can also see this shopping button. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't like that at all. Look, it's trying to highlight it! It wants me to click on it! You leave me alone! Oh, I don't like that. I do not like it. Also, <laughs> Ignore this. For some reason, this version of the goth family has a horse. It's called Penny, and they've got a baby. Oh, good for you. Okay, well, <laughs> I was just here to judge the shop button. I don't really want to deal with any of that. The only other, like, big, big, big change that I'm expecting is they're supposed to update one of the foods in the game. So there's been some talk about one of the food dishes that they added in the four rent pack. They tweeted this back in December. The team is also working towards adding a more delicious and accurate representation of the Nasi Lamak dish in the new year. In the meantime, we'll be renaming the the current dish to coconut rice in a later update. Thank you all for your feedback and your patience. And this is kind of in a reply to them talking about the massive for rent bugs <laughs> when they had to release that hot fix. But today they supposedly fixed that and added the food in. I think we need to cheat our cooking skill just so we can see this. I don't know what skill you need to make this one, so I'm just gonna give me all the skill <laughs> so I can see all of it. Uh-oh. The game does not like loading the cooking menu. Oh my god, they need to fix that too. <laughs> okay, so previously this coconut rice, oh my god. <laughs> 
This is a kettle, not a pressure cooker. I don't know why I thought I had a pressure cooker. Okay, well there, now we have a pressure cooker. So previously on the pressure cooker, this recipe did not exist. They had made this one and called it Nasi Lemak, but it wasn't really right. So they've changed it. They've added a new recipe that's more accurate and then swapped the old one to just be called coconut rice instead. I know this might seem like a small thing because it's just a recipe in game, but it's not really just a recipe. Like they're using the food they're adding as representation and food is really important to a lot of people, especially when it's important dishes like this. They're even calling it themselves the national dish of Malaysia. So like to get it wrong is just kind of hurtful. So I do appreciate them going back and like hearing that feedback and fixing it. And plus now everybody has a second recipe. You really can't cook too many things in the pressure cooker and now we can cook a second one. So that's kind of fun. I might actually make both of these just so we can see them. I love this pressure cooker item. I think it's so cool how they can walk away from it. I really, really appreciate that. It's so much easier than cooking with like the regular stuff over they have to stand there the whole time. So here is the new dish. Let me make the other one too, just so we can see them. They have really stepped up their game with food in The Sims 4. Oh my God, the stuff they used to make used to be so bad. What are you doing? What is that? I didn't tell you to make that. Oh, she made plain rice. Okay, well, I wanted to make the coconut rice. Sorry, I was gonna say, if you've compared like the food they had in The Sims 4 when it first came out to the food they're making now, and I mean, you would hope so. Like if they have to redo a dish because it did a bad job, you would hope that it looks better the second time, <laughs> but it just, it looks so much better done than it used to. Like you look at the garden salad from the base game, the garden salad looks like slop, like green goo. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like food. This is a million times better. Even like the rice, obviously it's just rice and the textures still aren't like fantastic because they're not doing like high quality on these or anything. But considering it's just rice, it actually looks pretty decent compared to the old things. Let me move that because that one's not new. That's fine. So these are the two dishes. This is, oh, you don't want to place there? Okay. <laughs> Well, this is the old one and this is the new one. And now everybody that has four rent has both. Obviously you have to have the rent pack because it's a pressure cooker dish. They took a little bit longer than I thought they would with this one because they said they were going to fix it in the new year in December. So I kind of figured it would be like the January update, but instead it's the very end of February update, but whatever, at least it's done now. So also on their Twitter, they like to post these laundry list blogs where they talk about their highest priority fixes in the next patch. So they posted this like two weeks ago, kind of addressing some community concerns, which is helpful because then we kind of know what to expect, what's high priority on their list. They always clarify, please note that some topics can be tricky and may require an extended investigation on our end. So even though we are actively reviewing, it's not a guarantee that we'll have an immediate fix in an upcoming patch. Yeah, yeah. Well, the stuff on this laundry list are holidays only appearing for three saves in a household, which I really want them to fix. Apparently on console, there's a glitch with some toggling wall tiles Unfortunately, I don't play on console. So whenever there's console things, I'm kind of out of the loop with it. We've got a huge issue with customer service NPCs not spawning correctly on community lots. So they're trying to fix that. There's a bug with residential rental lot types getting stuck as residential rental lot types. I mean, there's quite a few bugs with residential rental lot types, but they're trying to prioritize that one in particular. Another weird one is Sims eating prepped ingredients as leftovers. So if you were using the Home Chef Hustle stuff, like say you had the stand mixer right here, and we had made some dough and put it in the fridge, your Sim would grab dough out of the fridge and just eat it, like eat plain dough or plain batter. And I mean, I get it. Like <laughs> I understand the desire, we've all been there, but it is weird that they would prioritize grabbing that over like an actual meal if there was food in the fridge. And it's kind of annoying when you're trying to save prepped ingredients and the Sims just kept eating them. So they've claimed they fixed that in today's patch or they claim they're going to fix that in today's patch. The patch notes still aren't out yet. So we don't know yet. <laughs> This one, I don't know if this is actually a bug, but they claim that the waffle maker and pizza oven cause too many constant fires. I think they should leave it, but they're gonna try and tune it, I guess. Apparently plain waffles are making vegetarian sims upset. They're getting like the violating principles moodlet from eating a plain waffle because they think it has meat, so they're fixing that. Sims getting stuck cooking and eating is the most agitating thing. And that's been happening, I swear, since Horse Ranch, where they would get like stuck in a loop and just sit there like like holding the food, but not actually eating it, but not doing anything else. They just stay there for hours. There's a new one 
like that that's just popped up with weeding plants. The weeding plants is not on the list today, but the food is, so that should at least be hopefully fixed. Apparently fridges weren't working properly off-grid. We've got a couple save errors and error codes. I don't know what these mean, <laughs> but they're trying to fix those. Apparently you can't fish in winter, they're trying to fix that. We know about the dish already. This bug reward trait still available after purchase. This one has been throwing me off so much. So that means when you go to the reward store and like say you try to buy the observant trait, you would buy this with your points, you would have the trait, but it would still be there in the store when previously it would have been grayed out because you can't buy it twice. But like the game was letting you buy it twice basically. So they're trying to fix that. And the hoodie making Sims eyes bigger. There was a hoodie from the goth pack that was like making your Sims have bug eyes. I don't know how I did not notice this when I did the review of this pack because it was there. Like I should have seen it. But for some reason, this specific hoodie would like change their eye shape. Nothing else would. Just that hoodie. You can kind of see some people's screenshots here. Very, very strange. I do not understand how a hoodie was changing their eyes. Like I don't even know what they did to have that be happening, but that's been happening since the goth pack came out last month. So they're also trying to fix that today. And annoyingly, there still are no patch notes. Oh my God. On the Sims community, he says fans and players who didn't ask for this feature will be disappointed to know that the icon also pulsates consistently. <laughs> I'm sorry. I came here because I was going to see if the patch notes were out and that, that just made me laugh. I, we all have the same, same opinions of this stupid store button. <laughs> Nobody's going to be happy about this. <laughs> Oh my god. Does it actually pulsate constantly? Even like, I don't, unavailable during an event. Oh. Oh, because the welcome wagon was here. I couldn't buy packs. That's so interesting. Why? The welcome wagon should have, it should have stopped. Oh, I don't understand this thing. I've been reading a little bit on Twitter about like other people's experiences with the shop button. And it sounds like for some people it's gone away. So like maybe it realized that you're not going to buy anything. So it disappeared. So is it only like temporary? Is it, I don't understand. Oh my God. Look at it pulsating. Oh my God. I can't, I can't even buy packs from you. <laughs> I have all of them. Oh my God, look at it pulsating. I can't buy packs from you. Why are you still trying to sell them to me? Oh, is it gonna do that on every every single load? Because I cannot handle that. They're, they need to, you need to tune that or something. I don't understand this. I do not like this. This is so embarrassing. I've been sat here waiting for the patch notes for like almost an hour. It's been 48 minutes and I just sit here refreshing nonstop. <laughs> but they did actually post them on the forums and that's good because we can see what's coming in the update. We need the patch notes to make a video about the patch because this is all the stuff that we've missed. We've been guessing, but this is the real true stuff in the update. So in their words, in this update, you might see a new button in the top right corner of your screen. This cart emblazoned button has many uses ranging from sharing pack offers and sales information to recommending packs you might be interested in, all accessible without leaving the comfort of your Sims homes. Okay, <laughs> so that's the only new content in the whole of the update. Interestingly, it says you might see a new button. So perhaps it is targeted. I don't know how and who they're trying to sell to, but you might see the button, <laughs> whatever that means. I'm also going to link these patch notes down below for you in case you want to read through all the rest of them yourselves, but I'll point out all of the big things or at least the things that stand out to me. I actually noticed this. It said Sims should now indicate if there is something in the way that prevents them from finishing cooking a meal. I saw that when we were cooking with that Sim in here, they like actually had a pop-up that kind of showed that they were not able to cook. Before they would just put the food down and then stop. <laughs> but now they're trying to make it a little bit more clear. The stabbed a friend in the back moodlet text has been updated for grammar clarity. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of the descriptors of the moodlets in this game, the stabbed a friend in the back moodlet. Okay. There is also apparently a critical fix for mod creators. Something about a tunable factory. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of, I don't understand how this works, but I'm sure they do. <laughs> so that's nice. Reported comments should no longer reappear after restarting The Sims 4 on the gallery. That's a relief. And it sounds like they're also trying to tweak some settings on their profanity filter. They've been like constantly trying to update the gallery moderation recently. So so hopefully that helps. This is interesting. They updated the descriptions of a few breeds of cats and dogs. I haven't thought about the breed descriptors from cats and dogs in years. I don't know if I've ever even read the breed descriptors in cats and dogs. So I'd be curious to know what they changed. That's so weird. Celebrate everybody. No, really, everybody can celebrate holidays again. <laughs> they finally fixed 
fixed it. And apparently Sims can also now fish in cold, windy, and cloudy, windy weather. You couldn't fish when it was cloudy and windy at the same time? Okay, well they changed that too. Oh, that's what it was. So if you opted out of fame, it would make it so NPC Sims wouldn't spawn to visit community lots. That's so weird. Well, they fixed that too. Rental income. Additional information has been added on several relevant UI screens to more clearly communicate how rent for all owned units will be collected by the end of the week, along with any taxes or bills due. No, I need to see that. I gotta know how the lease stuff works. <laughs> I've been so confused about how rent works this whole time. I need to know what they changed. So on the pop-up, we can see the lease length, the remaining lease still. We can see our daily rental income. I don't, I don't see what's changed. Also this thing, I cannot deal with this. I cannot deal with this. Maybe if I click on the mailbox. No, I wanted to see my, okay. I don't understand what they changed to make rent more obvious, to be honest. I don't see anything. I wish they would tell you, but that's okay. <laughs> Whatever, I've, I've given up, I've given up. They fixed a few other things with like some save errors in the rent pack. Apparently people were getting stuck on clients' lots after completing a home decorator gig. Oh no. Sims won't eat prepped ingredients when eating leftovers. They tuned the frequency of fires, that's so sad. Oh, weirdly, there was an achievement that you got for finishing aspirations and those two new aspirations from Home Chef Hustle didn't count towards it. So they fixed that and they fixed the goth galore hoodie and they also said, don't worry, the eye size change was not permanent, so your sim's eyes should be back to normal now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice of them for clarifying, but that is the full update. Again, it's not a huge one, just some bug fixes and some small details. Let me know in the comments if any of you can figure out what changed about the UI when you collect the rent payments, because maybe I'm just silly, but I still don't get it. <laughs> I need it to be obvious and I still don't get it. So let me know if you figure it out. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Stay tuned because tomorrow I'm gonna be able to post early access content with the new stuff pack. They literally just sent me my code. So I'm gonna leave so I can go start playing with it and record for you all. But tomorrow here on YouTube and over on my Twitch channel, we'll play with the new Crystal Creations stuff pack. And if you like this or you like hearing about Sims news and new Sims content, make sure you're subscribed here to my YouTube channel because I always post stuff like this when big things happen. I guess today's kind of a small thing, but you know, I still told you about it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm so excited. I'm sorry to brag, but like I'm literally gonna install the pack right now. I'm so, so, so excited.